Daily devotion with Pastor Bala for November 27th, 2020 from Daniel chapter 11. The vision continues. Yesterday we heard that Christ visited Daniel in a vision. Christ was defeating the enemies of God in a spiritual battle to protect his people. Today, the vision continues as Daniel is warned about the chief enemy of God. But don't worry, God is still in control. Embedded in this vision is also a glimpse of the physical future, which, in which Daniel can assist the king and the people through these difficult times. We pick it up with chapter 11, verse 1. And as for me, in the first year of Darius the Mede, I stood up to confirm and strengthen him. Throughout the exile, it was God who directed and supported the kings. The kings who, yes, took away God's people from the promised land into exile. The kings who, unfortunately, then destroyed Israel and the promised land. And so God is still raising up kings and new kings. God's plan was for the people of Israel, after they repented, to return back to the promised land and to rebuild the temple. But again, in the midst of all this turmoil of one king rising up and another king rising up and the people in constant turmoil and conflict, God is still in control. We need to remember that, especially in today's society, as after an election, there's going to be some transition in leadership. Some of these transitions might be good, and some of these transitions might be a little challenging for us. But regardless, whoever is in that position that we are transitioning to, God is still in control. God is taking care of the kingdoms of this world. However, there is a king that is mentioned in Daniel's vision that is 100% opposed to God. Verse 31, forces from him shall appear and profane the temple and fortress and shall take away the regular burnt offerings and they shall set up the abomination that makes desolate. He shall seduce with flattery those who violate the covenant, but the people who know their God shall stand firm and take action. So when we hear of this evil king who opposes God at every moment, notice that God's people stand firm. The people know their God and are faithful to that God. And that's what we should also do whenever we see leaders opposing what God wants. We stand firm in the faith. We don't necessarily give in to their directions, but we always obey God first. And so in today's world, we rally around Christ and his word and yes, leaders will come and go, kingdoms will come and go, but it is God's word that is eternal. Verse 36, And the king shall do as he wills. He shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak astonishing things against the god of gods. He shall prosper till the indignation is accomplished. For what is decreed shall be done. Now, this may sound like a lot of doom and gloom, especially for God's people, that this evil king is going to go do whatever this evil king wants to do. But remember, the evil king has a limit. He's not going to continue forever and ever. Why? Because God is in control. And by the way, on Calvary's cross, it was Jesus who defeated the evil one. So you tell me who's got more power, the kings and leaders of this world or the almighty God. 
This is why we put our faith and trust in Almighty God. We may have to endure with suffering for a period of time in this physical life, but that's only for a period of time. For our faith and trust in Christ will give us the strength we need to endure. And this is one of the reasons why God gives this vision to Daniel, so that Daniel can teach the people to remain faithful to God, to expect times of trial and persecution, but to prevail and continue to trust in God because God is in control. He will limit the extent of evil and finally usher in his kingdom in which we will be with Christ in paradise. So join me again tomorrow as we begin to hear about the end. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching, and please take an opportunity to share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.